Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the uh, saints here in Central California. Um, we're coming to you this morning from our pathology lab uh, wiring closet. Um, yeah, this one's a little different. We're showing you wiring closets. I know some of you are interested. Yeah, that, this is what it looks like. It's our wiring closet. So um, we've got a stack of about four switches here. But, um, <laughs> this was a lot cleaner, but uh, it was also a lot dirtier before. So when I got here, it was the same deal. We had switches at the bottom, patch panels at the top, and a waterfall of cables. You couldn't see anything. So I switched over this is early on until I'm using the, the thick cables here. Switched over and got it all cleaned up, but uh, over the years, we've had uh, other people come in and add cables, and they're not quite as conscious as I am, conscientious as I am about putting them in. Anyway, the reason I'm here this morning is I've got to install a rack of new device here. I've got this. Uh, it's a, basically it's a Dell, it's a reworked DEC terminal server. DEC? What's DEC? Digital Equipment Corporation. They were, a, they were a big deal back in the late 80s, mid 80s, early 90s. Uh, made many computers. And uh, they uh, slowly went the way of the Dodo, eventually being bought out by uh, HP, and uh, now I believe they're completely gone. But some of their technology survives today in the form of this thing, which is a uh, terminal server. So the way it used to work is you would have a, a network connection on one side, and you plug a bunch of dumb terminals in here. And uh, you, you know, people would use the dumb terminals, they would all be connected here. And this would be connected to your Ethernet network, and that would be connected to the back. Well, the, our medical records provider, Cerner, has found a, a unique uh, use for these. Is we have all of our lab instruments here in the, the laboratory. Uh, they're connected by a serial port. And all the results from the machines are transmitted by a serial port. And not all the machines are that way, but a lot of them are. Um, so what they found out they can do is put uh, converters, you know, uh, 9 pin or 25 pin to uh, Cat5 converters on and uh, plug them into this thing. And then this thing can read the results and relate on to Cerner. So uh, that's why we have these things. And I'm going to be racking this thing in there today. The problem I have is... First of all, we've already got two of these things, so I don't know why we need another. I think they're going to replace at least one or both of them. Um, but we have this patch panel down here, and maybe about an inch of space, and then we have one old terminal server, the other terminal server, and then about another inch of space up here. And then we have some space here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is move this shelf up a little bit and move this patch panel up a little bit and then I'm going to take that new terminal server and put it right in here between this terminal server and this patch panel. So I'm going to put you guys, pardon my hand, I'm going to put you guys on ignore for just a minute and uh, see what I can do. Be right back. Okay, so step one is, well, halfway done. So what I did is basically um, I'll come back here. So the back of this shelf, I just, where's my screws? I just loosened these two screws up so that the shelf could move a little bit. Screw on this side, and a screw on that side. There we go. So I loosened those up so that I could tilt the shelf. And then all I did is on the front, I went ahead. See here, I moved the shelf up. Uh, how many you? Two you. So that should give me enough room. Now I'm going to go around the back and uh, level the shelf out because right now it's kind of slanted down. So I move this one up about a U and a half. I'm going to move that one up about a U and a half. And uh, then I'll be able to attempt to move this patch panel down here. So again, we will be right back. Okay, so step two is done. Oh, I got the shelf all leveled out here now. I moved the back up 
Luckily, the uh, I don't know if I can show this here or not. I don't know if it's easy to see. Um, I don't know. No, it's probably not going to show up because sorry about the, sorry about the hand. The uh, colors are so light, but the the U numbers are marked on the side of the rack. So it starts out at U number one at the bottom. In, in case you guys don't know what a U is, it's a unit. So this this is one U right here. Um, it's about is it about two inches, something like that. So that's one U right there. So each U number is is marked right here on the side. It's going both both sides. It starts at U one at the bottom and goes up to U forty two or uh, what size is this rack? Yeah, this is a 42U rack. You'll see those kind of measurements a lot out there, how many U uh, a rack is. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and moved that up to uh, the same U me measurements on the front and the back, so that leveled the shelf out. I took this uh, um, patch panel and moved it all the way up under the shelf here, and that light leaves me 2U of uh, rack space right here that I can use to mount other things. So what I'm gonna do, is put this terminal server here just right on top of this one. So we'll just have a stack of three, three terminal servers there with one U on the top for future expansion. Actually, we've got a lot of future expansion because this shelf can go all the way up or it could come out completely and then this patch panel can go up here underneath that one. So, all right. That's, uh, that's pretty much the hard part there. Now I'm gonna do the easy part and actually mount the terminal server. So. We'll be right back. All right, that's done. So we see now we have, let me get close enough here, that one, one, two, three terminal servers there. I haven't plugged the top one in yet, but uh, you guys know how plugging stuff in works. Um, one little pro tip that uh, I'll show you that uh, some of the long time network admins may, not, may or may not agree with, but this is what I do. Um, sorry about the hand, especially when it comes to uh, mounting these things. What I do when I'm mounting it to begin with is I just put in the bottom screw. I don't put the top screw in, just the bottom. Um, because what that does is the back of the unit tends to sag down, which pushes out on the bottom screw. So if you get the bottom screw in and that back tries to sag down, it already pulls the top ear, on the top of the ear, mounting ear here, it already pulls that towards the rack. You know, think, think of like a lever, you know, you, you're pulling it down, this bottom part tries to come out, this top part tries to go in. So I just put the bottom screw on initially to get them all set up, and many times I just leave it that way, especially these units, they're so light, they weigh less than a pound. Um, I don't need four screws on there. Um, I can go in and add them if I want, but in this case, there's really no point. These things are light as a feather. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for racking this guy. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, power cord there on the chair next to my drill motor and uh, plug it in. And uh, I cannot tell you how handy these things are for uh, mounting equipment in these racks. You know, you. Uh, I didn't have to this morning, but a lot of times you're holding them up with one hand and trying to, to screw them in with the other. And because uh, we don't always have help. Um, so yeah, being able to just screw it in one-handed like that, you know, get yourself a good, you know, electric screwdriver. I use a drill motor from Milwaukee. And I just put a Phillips head screw in it and uh, good to go. And. Uh, if you're going to use something like this, make sure you get an extension because, uh, you know, just putting this, this screw tip right in here and getting this drill body into the rack, as you can see, you know, that's, that's not going to happen. But with the extension, down here, the extension, we can get all the way in there. But if I had to put the, the whole drill in there, it just, it just, it just not going to work. So. Good, good drill motor and a good extension, and then that Phillips tip on the end will do you right. So, all right, I'm going to go uh, plug that guy in, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. So, um, that'll complete that project for this morning.
So anyway, uh, if you like the content and you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell if you like. And as always, I appreciate the uh, constructive comments. Uh, any questions you have, put it down in the comments. And uh, even prayer requests. I take prayer requests. <laughs> so uh, I pray for, I pray daily. So anyway, feel free to, to put those in as well. So as always, everybody, have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. God bless. And where is it? Where is it? There it is.